How's it going my fellow captains and welcome to a video regarding the A380. Now I'd like to begin saying that this is the beginning of a new series where we'll be investigating ideas to save aircraft models. So it's common knowledge that the A380 is failing, it's not gaining any more orders and the first aircraft from Singapore Airlines has already ceased passenger service. You see there's a major flaw with the model. There's no demand for used A380s and that's a big problem for the airlines. Aircraft are expensive and part of the reason the airlines will pay such high prices is that generally they have a good resale value. But the A380 is just way too big for most airlines. It doesn't fit their business model as more and more airlines switch to point to point aviation instead of flying people from their origin to a hub or to a destination. Perhaps one way to save the program is to launch a combi version, which would hold passengers and also cargo. That way airlines doesn't need so many passengers to fill the aircraft and they can transport large amounts of cargo as well as making it profitable. Now Airbus hasn't announced any plans for the combi variant, however they were going to create a freighter version so there's no reason they can't make a combi. But the main issue is that the aircraft needs to fly. The aircraft wouldn't be able to carry two decks of cargo plus passengers as it would exceed the maximum takeoff weight. Now a more practical solution could be one and a quarter decks of passengers with the remaining one and three quarter decks dedicated for cargo. This would reduce the passenger capacity of a 519-seater A380 to around 330 passengers. For comparison, the 777X will have a capacity of 314 to 396 passengers in a standard configuration. However, we need to ask the question as to who would order this aircraft. Now if this became a reality, I think there would be some interest from Cathay Pacific. The capacity would be in line with their current 777s and Cathay Pacific has a huge cargo division, meaning they could fill the cargo section of the plane. Now although Hong Kong has only 5 gates capable of handling the A380, more could be built if it was profitable. Now another issue would be that freight usually travels one way. The combis would have a full cargo section whilst leaving Hong Kong, but the plane could be empty in its cargo while it's travelling back. Furthermore, the cargo capacity would be determined by the maximum takeoff weight, meaning capacity could be limited in the cargo section. Now captains, let me know what you think regarding this. Is the A380 worth saving? And do you think a combi version would work? Let me know what you think in the comments below, or you can discuss it in the Discord server which is in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you very soon.